what uh, what have been your your impressions of Carson Wentz as a quarterback the last few weeks? Good quarterback, yeah, can do it all. Good arm, athletic, can extend plays, tough kid. Um, can run if he needs to, can make all the throws, get the ball down the field. Gets the ball to all of his receivers, he uses the backs, tight ends, and uh, receivers uh, based on uh, who's open his route progression. He's good at reading defenses. They give him a lot of responsibility at the line of scrimmage to um, you know, change plays or adjust plays. Um, there's some, some checking going on there and so forth. So looks like he's pretty good at everything. Pretty accomplished guy. Lord Brunson, back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. First of all, shout out to my guy, Isaac the Barber. You know the vibes. I don't even got to wear no do-rag. I go to him, head nappy, head dry, whatever. Whatever the case may be, he work with me. He had me coming out still still with the wave pattern. I ain't have to wear no do-rag, man, for real, for real, man. But if I do wear a do-rag, it's over. But anyway, are we wasting Carson Wentz's talent? Now, I'm not here to say I agree with Bill Belichick and all the praise he gave Carson Wentz. That stuff we already know. Are we wasting his talent? Are we wasting his prime years by not giving him a valuable target that he can grow with? <laughs> when the last time the Philadelphia Eagles had a dominant wide receiver? A dominant number one wide receiver. Terrell Owens. Terrell Owens was the last time he had a dominant wide receiver in his prime. It was T.O. And T.O. was one of them rare specimens that, you know, after 30 could still be in his prime. You know what I mean? It was a rare specimen. I feel like that we are on the brink of wasting Carson Wentz's talent if we don't get him somebody that's reliable as a pass catcher at the wide receiver position. I feel like we are truly on the brink of, wa of wasting this man's talent. Look at look at Matt look at Matt Ryan, number one wide receiver over there. Philip Rivers got a number one wide receiver. Hell, Eli Manning even had one. Uh, Eli Manning had one in his prime and, and later in his prime. You see what I'm saying? Baker Mayfield got one. Philip Rivers got one. Um, Look, look, just, just, just look. The list goes on and on. A lot of people got a lot of these good wide receivers. I mean, you got wide receivers that are rotten in, rotten in places who could be number ones for us. Devontae Parker. You know what I'm saying? Aaron Rodgers, man. Aaron Rodgers, could, Aaron Rodgers gets older every year. Stay with a number one wide receiver, though. That don't stop them from putting talent around Aaron Rodgers. And then you look at guys like, even Jameis Winston, Winston has some number one wide receiver. Still got a number one wide receiver. And he had Deshaun Jackson. You know what I'm saying? And then you look at guys like Cam Newton, who they never really, really put a number one wide receiver around. I mean, he had Steve Smith for a couple years, but Cam Newton probably not even going to be playing for his team no more. Former MVP. That's how bad it can go left. That's how bad you can start looking. Look what a number one wide receiver did for Dak Prescott. Turned it all around for him. Turned it all around for him. Yeah, they still can't win. They still can't beat big teams, but his numbers are inflated because he got a number one wide receiver. You know what I'm saying? We can't, like, like the offense has been stale. Listen, man, listen. You got to get somebody that's going to be able to call these plays. You got to do something about this offensive coordinator situation, and you got to get Carson Wentz a number one, a bona fide number one wide receiver. I don't care. Like, I don't even want nobody out the draft that got to learn the game for a year. We need somebody that been around and know what he's doing. We need a wide receiver that can come in and contribute from day one. We do. We do. Now, now, I appreciate everything Alshon Jeffrey done, but if Alshon Jeffrey getting old to where he can't stay healthy and he could just be a number two wide receiver, then that's just what it got to be. But we need a bona fide number one wide receiver. You know what I'm saying? Jordan Matthews ain't even a band-aid to the situation, possibly. Jordan Matthews, if he can't get open, he ain't going to get the ball. You got to understand the type of quarterback Carson Wentz is, man. We got to understand this. And I don't think we're doing a good job of understanding what we got. We got a guy who can literally, literally go between reads. He will get sacked trying to go between reads. He will, if the first read ain't there, he on to the second, he on to the third. He will get sacked trying to do that. If you got wide receivers around a quarterback that's going to stand in the pocket like that, magic can happen. Magic can happen. He's not Baker Mayfield. If the first read gone, then I'm scrambling, running for my life, not even going through the progressions. Baker, May, Baker Mayfield first read nine times out of ten is Odell Beckham Jr. So they automatically going to try to take him. You know what I mean? Odell Beckham Jr. is riding away over there. Riding away over there. Riding away over there. I fear, I, I fear that in two years we could be having a conversation of 
are we wasting Carson Wentz's ability? Oh, I mean, I mean, I mean, next year going to tell it all. We ain't go for a wide receiver, so I guess we're going to try to address it again in the draft. And can't even call Arthur a white side of miss to this point. I guess we're going to try to address this in the draft. But they need to make a move for a bona fide star. They have to make a move for a bona fide star. You can't, you can't play these games, man, when you got a Super Bowl window. What would be the use of extending Brandon Brooks? What's the use of keeping that offensive line together if you're not going to try to win now? If you're not going to try to win now, you can't do everything through the draft, getting in 19, 20-year-old kids who never played this speed. You just can't do it. So, you know, I think Howie Roseman got to change his approach next year. I think Mike Groh got to change his approach or go possibly next year. And I think Jim Schwartz got to change his approach or go. You know what I'm saying? Wasting Carson Wentz's talent, but you, you know what I mean? You moved up in the draft to get this guy. You paid this guy. Now you're paying Brandon Brooks. You paid, you, you paid Brandon Graham. You see what I'm saying? You paid Deshaun Jackson. You're paying, you paying a lot of people who over 30, 30 or over. That's the point I'm making. You're paying a lot of people who are basically almost past their prime. A lot of these guys past their prime. Carson Wentz still in his prime, so you got to get some weapons that's still in their prime with Carson Wentz. You see what I'm saying? You got to get some weapons, man. Carson Wentz is the general. I mean, I mean, if, if, you, if you keep going down this path, listen, there's nobody in the receiving core right now that I would keep besides probably with the exception of Alshon Jeffrey. I'm talking about wide receivers only. I would keep Alshon Jeffrey and I would keep Ortega Whiteside, man. Everybody else got to go. Depending on how Jordan Matthew look, I'll bring Jordan Matthew back to play the slot to take over Nelly position. But everybody else got to go. And I can see that right now. I'm calling that right now. I'm calling Nelson Aguilar gone next year and Jordan Matthews getting a, getting a deal, coming back for a couple more years. I'm calling that right now because I think him and Carson are going to look good together, man. But at the end of the day, man, everybody else, man, got to go, man. Everybody else got to go. They, they haven't done anything for us in the passing game. Anything for us. This could have been a career year for Carson Wentz, man. Look at the numbers. Look at the drops. Look at the drops. You know what I mean? I'm gonna, I'm, I think I'm going to do a video after the Patriots game. If you add up the drops, what would Carson Wentz's stats be? He would have one more touchdown. They would have probably two more touchdowns and probably a couple hundred more yards, man, if you add up the drops alone. You know what I'm saying? It's just been ridiculous, man. You know what I mean? You you got you to gotta get some reliable pass catches in the city of brotherly love that wear midnight green. Or the future or the future for us, man, it's just going to be Carson Wentz throwing. So, like, I, I, just, I just was talking about wide receivers. The Eagles need to go get Antonio Callaway. I mean, this is a steal. This just fell in your lap. This just fell in your lap. I would be surprised if we don't make a move for this guy, especially with Alshon Jeffrey being so iffy. This is a steal. This guy can come in and contribute immediately. You know what I'm saying? Baker Mayfield is, is, is Baker Mayfield got receivers not even wanting to play no more. This is a steal. I would be completely shocked, shocked if we don't throw nothing at this dude and get this dude shocked. You hear me? I would be completely shocked. They need to go out there and get this dude. They need to go out there and get this dude, man. You know what I mean? It's a must grab. It's a must grab. Period. It's nothing to think about. Go out there and get the deal done. Go out there and get the deal done. You don't got to put no effort in it. You ain't got to put no thought in it. It's a player we need. Go out there and get the deal done. You know what I'm saying? I saw a little fl I saw flashes of potential in him. I watched quite a bit Cleveland Brown games. I watched a lot of Cleveland Brown games this season. You know what I mean? I saw potential in this guy, man. When dudes were taking Odell away, sometimes he was able to get open. The reason why guys aren't six, guys aren't excelling over there is it's, it's because of Baker Mayfield, man. Call a spade a spade. Dude will fit great in our system, man. He'll fit great in our system. He got speed. He not too small. I like it. I like it, man. I like it. Grab him and let's take stranglehold of what's ours.